the Cash for Clunkers program may be on life support, but it is so popular it helped push Ford over the top. The automaker posted its first monthly sales increase in two years. But will the Senate slam the brakes on the program later this week? CBS News transportation correspondent Nancy Portis is in Arlington, Virginia, with the very latest. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Julie. Cash for Clunkers needs a cash infusion this week, or it will have to be suspended, at least temporarily. The House of Representatives okayed another $2 billion for funding on Friday, but there's no guarantee the Senate will do the same. Potential customers packed in the dealerships again this weekend, rushing to trade in gas guzzlers for big rebates before the government could pull the plug. People were, what's happening? We hear it's, we hear it's stopping or we don't know it's stopping. The on-again, off-again program faces a critical test this week in the Senate, where many Republicans oppose spending another $2 billion to keep it going. We're helping auto dealers while there are thousands of other small businesses that aren't getting the help. Some Democrats are skeptical, too. They want tougher, greener mileage requirements. And even if the bill can muster enough support, there's no guarantee senators will have time to vote on it before their August break begins on Friday. The administration is going to have to twist some arms to get this through because they're saying that if it's not done by midweek, this program could be suspended. And the Senate's got a packed schedule this week. They're voting on whether to confirm Sonia Sotomayor for the Supreme Court. They may also be voting on a big tourism bill. And Republicans may try to stall on cash for clunkers. So this program is still running for now, but it has a very uncertain future, Maggie. CBS's Nancy Cordes in Arlington, Virginia. Thank you, Nancy.